Hello everybody, there's another video for uh, utilizing or recycling sort of for uh, I'm using a kit which I bought from uh, eBay well but nowadays you can buy it from many places so I bought it from eBay it, it came from China it, it, it cost me about twenty twenty dollars twenty dollars or so and uh, I have to tell them you know what sort of touch screen what sort of LCD sorry what sort of laptop LCD I have got so they can provide you already pre-programmed sort of kits so there we go so what else you need actually you just need a your LCD screen which goes with this ribbon cable and uh, that's for the backlight which is a high voltage and it's got, it's got all it has got all protection around it so it's pretty safe oh, I can't say it's a safe one but still you gotta be careful so there is a hazard of a bit of shock so you gotta be careful with that bit as well uh, there we go I'll, uh, I'll just put all these things together and uh, let's see how it comes up all right Check. Oh, let me show you how to connect this connection back in there so just one moment it's just, uh, it's just a bit difficult when you're videoing it and also you're trying to connect it it will be wise actually it will be wise wise to put a tape on top on top of it uh, you know just to protect it not just to be on the safe side it should not come off so we just put a bit of tape on top of it and and do other connections okay. to connect inverter with uh, this backlight uh, cable connection some of the LCDs the bigger ones sometimes got two inverters so you need to tell them that uh, what sort of LCD you got so it will let them decide it will help them to decide that uh, how many inverters you need actually so that's the important thing you need to remember that okay is all done now so it's uh, it's uh, all ready to power up and uh, let's see what we get then all right I'm gonna there we go now it's powered as you can see I just put uh, I got a 80 uh, 12 volt 12 volt uh, I just got a 12 volt uh, 4 amp adopter which I connected over here and a VG cable from my laptop what I done actually is just uh, ask him to just duplicate the thingy so I duplicate it's just a duplicate here in front of us let's uh, let me let me put it in the straight and I'll show you you know what sort of other things you can get from it so everybody it's, uh, it's all been powered and as you can see now it uh, seems to be running all right it's a pretty good display so there are a few things you need to be you do need to be careful about actually that uh, what sort of settings you, you are uh, making actually you need to know what's the frequency of the display you have got actually from your old laptop or from where or nowadays you can buy them as well so there you go this is all you can see is powered up and uh, as a uh, let me explain to you about this one as well this uh, button as well you got all these things in there in the menu and powers and everything as you can see when it's power all power it will be all all green so you can go into the menu as you can see that here and uh, you can scroll to pretty much everything to make it much nicer much cooler whatever you want actually whatever your necessary settings whatever your necessary settings are well uh, my review for this sort of product is pretty good actually I've got two more displays one which I got it from my Lenovo Lenovo computer it's pretty much the same one similar sort of one yeah. And uh, I tried, uh, I tried this whole kit with this one as well. It seems to be working fine on it. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm pretty happy with display. What I'm getting at the moment, and uh, it's a good use of your old, uh, old like sort of scrapped laptop screen actually. So I hope you liked the video. Well, I can't say it was a pretty good one, but it was pretty acceptable one if somebody is uh, looking for some sort of thing or if somebody got a spare spare LCD you can use a thing you can use uh, this sort of kit and it's just only costing you $20 and it's not it's not very much all right you got a bit of video output on it to see how the resolution looks like it's pretty much a good resolution actually it's a uh, it's playing HD video from YouTube it seems to be working okay we go there we go again same video 
with all parts which are used in there as you can see them all clearly we are using them there we go and on the back of the screen I'm going to show you that how it's connected look at that so bright it's on the back so you know there are lots of other things you can do with this screen actually uh, or sort of DIYs you know <coughs> the, it's a pretty good uh, experience being honest with you I, I hope you all like this video well the LCD controller which I ordered has got a VJ port on it and also a DVI port as well so if you got a like a PS3 PS3 or Xbox 360 or any other uh, gaming console you can use that and uh, which will, which will be very helpful you know you can have a on your own dedicated sort of a LCD screen and you know it's like uh, the best thing about this item would be is uh, you can use you can recycle sort of old parts 